Hello, amazing writers. I hope that you guys are having fun writing your how-to books, as I definitely am having fun whenever somebody shows me what they've been writing about. Today, I wanna show you a book that I wrote about how to play Beyblades. Now, I want you to listen along and pretend that you are my reader, okay? Step one, let it rip. Step two, battle another person and try to knock them out. Now, if you were telling this story to someone who had no idea what a Beyblade was, they would be super confused even by just the first step. Let it rip? What does that mean? And what's a Beyblade? My friends, this is what I wanna teach you today. What I wanna teach you today is that when you are writing a how-to book, sometimes it helps your reader if you have an introduction. An introduction goes before all of your steps and explains to your reader what exactly it is that you are talking about. So I wrote a quick introduction for my How to Play Beyblades book. It says, How to Battle Beyblades. Beyblades are a fun toy that you can play with. Find out how to battle them in my book. Now, a person, if they didn't know what a Beyblade was, could read the introduction and see, oh, Beyblades are a toy, and then you can play with more than one person. Oh, and if I read this book, I can find out how to battle them. Oh, okay, now I'm interested in reading this book. If they just saw the first step and had no idea what a Beyblade was, let it rip, doesn't really make sense. It only makes sense if they know exactly what a Beyblade is to begin with. And that's why having an introduction is really helpful. I also wrote a short introduction for my book, How to Make a Pizza. Let me read you my introduction. Do you love pizza? Then you should read my book. This lets the reader know, oh, this book is for people who really love pizza because why else would you wanna make a pizza unless you really loved pizza, right? So that's why I added an introduction so that my reader knew who this book was for and what it was about. So today I want you to try to write an introduction to one of your books. Maybe if you're writing about the Beyblades, you can use the same one that I wrote. Beyblades are a fun toy that you can play with each other. Or if you're writing a story about how to make a giant Lego tower with sharks and squid and all sorts of things like Samson did, then you can write, are you interested in building a very cool Lego tower? Then read my book. Okay, so that's what our job is for today trying our very hardest to write an introduction for one of the books that we have written or writing an introduction for a new book that you want to start. Okay, have fun.